Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Daisy. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to customize t-shirts using Caesar Easy Color DTV. With Caesar Easy Color DTV, you may customize in different types of fabric such as cotton, polyester, elastane, and many more. And these ones can be in any color. This is the design I'm going to be printing to customize a polyblend t-shirt using the Scissor Easy Color DTV. But before, I would like to invite you to please support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting, and by pressing the notification bell. Since I'm going to cut the design using my Cricut Maker machine, I'm going to work with the design in the Cricut Design Space program. But if you wish to cut it with scissors, you may use any graphic design program to work with the design. Open a new canvas in the Cricut Design Space program. Click on Upload to upload the image. Click on Upload Image, Browse, open the folder where you have the design, select it, open it, click on Complex, Apply and Continue, select the one that says Print and Cut, Upload, select it, and add it to the canvas. If you would like to use this design, I invite you to visit me on my blog. Find the link in the video description down below. I'm going to resize it to print on letter size. Measurements should not exceed 9.25 by 6.75 inches. When ready, click on make it. This is how it's going to print. Continue. Send to printer. And here you're going to select the printer you're going to use. Uncheck Bleed, check Use System Dialog, and click on Print. Here, select the printer again, click on Preferences, select Photo Printing, and Media Type, select Matte Photo Paper. On quality, select high. Click OK, then print. The matte white finish is the printable side. To print the design, you can use any color inject printer. I am using a Canon Pixma Mega Tank. You may cut the design using scissors or your Cricut machine. I am going to use my Cricut Maker machine to cut my design. After printing, I'm going to select the material that I'm going to cut. In this case, I'm going to select Everyday Iron On. Now, let's go to the machine. You may use any Cricut machine model. I am using my Cricut Maker machine. After cutting or weeding the design, there are two ways to transfer it to the garment. First one is to remove the design from the film like this and place it to the t-shirt or garment. This way is very easy if your design is as simple as this one. But if your design is intricate or is made in several parts, you may use scissor easy mask to transfer it. I don't have the scissor easy mask right now, so I decided to use this regular transfer tape from Hippie Crafter. It has done a good job for me. But remember, Caesar recommends you to use Easy Mask. Try to remove all the bubbles from the design. Then remove the back film. To press the design, you may use a home iron or a heat press. I'm going to use my HTV round 
auto heat press machine. Remember to check the description down below since there I'm going to link all of the supplies used in this tutorial. Before placing the design, press the t-shirt or garment for 20 minutes to remove the wrinkles. Now clean the surface using a lint roller. Now it's time to align the design. And here, whether you are using transfer tape or not, it is very important to place a piece of protection paper on top of the design. I will use the film that I removed from the back of the design. You may also use parchment paper or Teflon paper if you wish. I'm going to press the Scissor Easy Color DTV design at 310 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 seconds. And here is the customized t-shirt using Scissor Easy Color DTV. I love how it turned out. It looks like if it's printed on the fabric and it's also stretchy. In my opinion, I think it's an excellent option to customize any color and any type of fabric. And you can use any inject color printer. Remember to check the description down below since there I'm going to link all of the supplies used in this tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and please don't forget to support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting and by pressing the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.